Hi guys, Miss Kayle here, and today I'm taking you through the fourth St. Peter and Paul Wellbeing Wednesday Assembly. And today's is all about our feelings. And there'll be a challenge at the end, which I can't wait to see what you do. So let's begin with our opening prayer. So we'll all put our hands together and make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So now what I'd like to do, guys, before we take do our prayer is I want you to start by closing your eyes. I want you to put your hands over your heart and take a moment to think about your breathing. Think about if Jesus was here, what would you say to him? What would you what would my, what might he say back to you? And we'll say our prayer together. Jesus, help me to think about myself during these times and how I can reflect upon my own thoughts and feelings. Protect me and remind me how to be grateful. Thank you for loving me. Amen. So, as I said, our assembly is all about feelings. And during this period, while you are while you've been at home, what type of feelings have you been feeling? Some of these might have been happy feelings or even sad feelings, but that's okay. If you have had some sad, scared or worried feelings, we can do things to help us turn them around and we can do things to help us feel better. If you've had some of these feelings, don't worry. I'm going to show you how some activities now can help us calm them down and change those feelings. I've had lots of feelings during the lot while I've been at home. Sometimes I'm happy, but sometimes I feel a little bit sad and I miss my family. And all of you guys too. First, let's have a look at this picture next to me. I bet you can guess what Disney film these characters are from. Their names are joy, sadness, anger, disgust and fear. So today, today, I'm going to read a story all about how our bodies react to certain feelings and what the signs are if you are feeling a certain way. While listening, have a think about the similarities to the characters in the story as I read. So our story is called Listening to Our Bodies. My body is my friend. It tells me lots of things. I yawn when I am tired. I, my stomach growls to let me know I'm hungry. And sometimes I get goosebumps when I'm cold. This happens on its own without me doing anything. I may not even notice that it's happening, but I can start paying attention to my body. So can you. Let's practice. Look closely at the palm of your hand. Trace the lines on your palm slowly and softly with your finger. How did that feel? Tickled me a little bit. When I pay attention and listen to my body, I notice many different sensations. Sensations are the physical feelings we all have inside and outside our bodies. Cold, sweaty and breathless are examples of some sensations. Have you felt these sensations before? Let's practice. Rub your hands together quickly for 30 seconds and see what you notice. Are you ready? Go. Keep going. Really fast. Ten seconds left. And stop. What do you notice? Heat? Tingles? Sweaty? Anything else? These are all sensations. Mine are probably a little bit hot now. The sensations in my body are always changing. There are things where my body is so wiggly and squirmy 
that it's like I have ants in my pants. At other times, my body is calm and still. Sometimes the beat in my heart is like a gentle tap. Sometimes it feels like a pounding drum. So let's practice again. Place your hand over your heart and find the beat. Don't worry if you can. Can you feel it? It's probably going quite slow at the minute. But now we're going to jump up and down for 15 times and see what happens. We'll do it together. Are you ready? What we get? Ready? 15 times. Go. Okay, and I'll fill your heart again. How does it feel now? Mine's going a lot faster. Is yours? I can also listen to my body for clues about how I'm feeling about the things happening around me. Feelings are not good or bad. There's something we all experience. Curious, proud or grumpy and scared are a few feelings we all have. What other feelings can you name? You got any? What I've learnt from listening to my body is that sensations and feelings go together. I've noticed this when I ride a buck, ride a roller coaster for the first time. I was super excited that I was finally tall enough to ride it, but I also felt nervous as I climbed on board. My belly felt squishy and fluttery. My mum calls that having butterflies in my stomach, but I thought it felt more like a kitty chasing ping pong balls in there. What sensation do you notice when you're excited or nervous? When I got off the roller coaster, I was buzzing and tingling all over. My eyes were like saucers and I had a smile plastered all over my face. I felt awesome. So let's practice again. Place your hand on your belly and take 10 deep breaths. You ready? Halfway there. So notice your belly as it moves in and out with each breath. How does your belly feel? Soft, relaxed, tight, something else? Sometimes when I'm sad, I get a lump in my throat that makes it hard to talk or breathe. Soon, warm tears roll down my face and I can may start to cry harder. Crying makes me feel better. So do hugs. We all feel sad at times. What do you need when you're sad? Let's practice. Wrap around yourself and give yourself a gentle hug. Move your hands up and down your arms. Let's put our arms around us and give us a big hug. Squeeze a little tighter. What feels best for you? Do you like a tight one or just a nice soft one? Do you feel better after that? I do. My mum once explained to me that sensations and feelings are like the waves in the ocean. Some come crashing in while others roll in gently. And they always come and go. We can't stop the wave from coming, but we can pay attention to them so they don't knock us over. Sometimes my skin gets burning hot and my jaw, jaw and fists feel hard as rocks. This happened to my body the last time I got really angry at my sister. She just destroyed the puzzle I was working on it all afternoon. I stomped my feet and slammed the door, but I really wanted to kick it. But then I remembered to take deep breaths and blow out through my lips like a horse. And it didn't take long for my jaw and hands to relax and all my skin 
was started to cool down. The angry feeling and sensations faded away. Blowing coarse lips even made me feel a little silly, and it tickled. I decided to put the puzzle on a table that my sister couldn't reach. It was a clever idea, wasn't it? So let's practice. Close your mouth so your lips touch gently. You might look a little bit silly doing this, but we'll try. Inhale through your nose and blow a strong puff of air through your mouth so that your lips are flap like a horse. You ready? So. <laughs> try it a couple of times. So do it again. <laughs> it is quite silly, isn't it? Do you feel better? Sometimes I get overwhelmed and need help from a grown-up. On the first day of school, I woke up super early because I couldn't stop thinking about what my new class would be like. My stomach felt it was like, was tied in nuts and I didn't eat breakfast. In class, it was hard for me to focus on what my teacher was saying, Mrs Morgan, and my body was shaky. When it was time to line up, I accidentally bumped my desk and knocked my stuff all over the floor. Everything was going wrong. Mrs Morgan helped me pick up my things and I took deep breaths like she reminded me. I told her about my morning and she explained that our brains have a hard time when our bodies are tired and hungry. Mrs Morgan thought I would feel better if I had a snack and rested in a quiet area while the class was at recess. She was right. I was calm and able to focus so the rest of my day went much better. It's okay to get help when we need it. Who is the adult who helps you? Over times when I'm upset, I can figure out what I need on my own by listening to my body. I can pay attention to my breathing, my heartbeat, the temperature of my skin or any other sensations. Am I hungry or thirsty? Tired or full of energy? Is my belly tense and tight or soft and relaxed? These are just questions I can ask myself. I can also name my feelings. Do I feel p peaceful or playful? Confused or frustrated? Hurt or cranky? There are many different ways I may be feeling and they are all okay. Listening to my body and naming what I feel takes a practice, but it helps me figure out what I need. Do I need to have a snack? a drink of water or to get some rest? Do I need to take deep breaths or sing my favourite song? Do I need to sit in a quiet place alone or go outside and jump around? I can colour or draw, dance and cuddle with my dog or hang around with someone that I love. There are always things I do that keep me feeling calm, happy or peaceful. Everybody is different, so you need to do what is best for you. The more I practice listening to my body, the better I get at responding to it. And with care and kindness for myself, I can get better at listening to my body, and so can you. So let's practice one more time. Listen to your body. Do you want to sit down or do you want to stand up? Do you need to sit or move around? Would you like to wiggle and jiggle? Hop or dance? It's your body and you can decide. Move it at what feels good to you. And you probably noticed lots of different feelings while you've been at home during this time, but that's okay, as we've said. Maybe have some of those things we've just discussed to help you. Here, you can see some other things that might help you while you're at home, when you've got some of those strange feelings going on. Some of the things are highlighted in purple. These are some examples how we can help change our feelings to be a more positive light. When I'm feeling a little bit sad at home, I like to go outside and do some exercise, like just throw a ball around, or I like to go to my room and I just colour a picture. What do you like to do? Let me know. Maybe later you could think what you do, and next time you have some strange feelings, and how you can make them better. So to help you with that, 
we have a challenge for you. You can see it next to me. And I would love to see what you do. So make sure you send it in to either our school admin email or our Facebook or Twitter accounts with an image of your artwork on something you do that makes you feel calm, safe or loved. I can't wait to see what you have done. I might even create one myself. So that brings us to the end of our assembly. I really hope you enjoyed the story and I really hope you enjoyed the assembly. But before we go, I thought we'll end with a joke. I'm not very good at jokes, but we'll see how it goes. So, what's a pirate's favourite letter? Ah. So, that's our end of our assembly. Let's end it by making the sign of the cross. In the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you enjoyed our assembly stay, guys. And are ready to go off and complete your challenge, thinking about all your different feelings. I hope you all have a lovely half term next week, but remember to keep safe and I miss you all lots and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.